Hello. Hello, friends. Welcome to 2024. My name is Hannah, and welcome to ASMR Like a Sandbox. As we begin this new year, instead of talking about New Year's resolutions, I wonder what it would be like to start the year with a greater awareness of and appreciation of our emotions. Today I will be showing you four gloves as we talk about four different emotions. The first emotion represented by the color red is anger. 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 I once had a therapist tell me that anger is an emotion of protest. Protest against injustice. Protest against wrong. Perhaps protest against something that we know is true but wish we're not. As Aristotle once said, anybody can become angry. That is easy. But to be angry with the right person and to the right degree and at the right time and for the right purpose and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power and is not easy. The second emotion is sadness, and it is represented by this dark blue glove. Sometimes behind our anger is actually sadness, and sometimes it is not until we have grieved the loss of something we loved that we can move into the future with confidence and kindness. Sometimes we avoid challenging emotions, but as Deepak Chopra says, if you try to get rid of fear and anger without knowing their meaning, they will grow stronger and return. I love the way that quote speaks to the importance of safely noticing, experiencing, and processing even our difficult emotions. Difficult emotions. Just keep relaxing. Relax into the new year. 
relax knowing that you are beloved. Rest knowing that you are capable. Find confidence knowing that you are valuable. Feel the emotions, hold the emotions, and then let them gently float away. The third emotion we are thinking about together today is joy. Joy represented by this beautiful, shiny, pink glove. A word that has a similar meaning to joy is happiness, or to be old-fashioned, we could say felicity. I'll go ahead and introduce the fourth emotion, which is gratefulness, represented by the green glove. The green glove. Just as this year will hold anger and sadness, so this year will hold joy and gratefulness. If only we open our eyes to see it and our hearts to feel it.
C.S. Lewis wrote, The sun looks down on nothing half so good as a household laughing together over a meal, or two friends talking over a pint of beer, or a man alone reading a book that interests him. Joy. On the topic of rejoicing and gratefulness, John Calvin wrote, There is not one little blade of grass, there is no color in this world that is not intended to make men rejoice. Similarly, Louisa May Alcott said, The power of finding beauty in the humblest things makes home happy and life lovely. Having a diverse range of emotions is part of being human. It can be uncomfortable. It can be amazing. But what if we learned to notice our emotions, to seek to understand them, to allow ourselves to feel them, to listen to the messages they bring us, and to make wise choices in light of what our feelings are telling us and what our thoughts are telling us. That's right, my friend. Just continue relaxing. Con 
continue relaxing. Helen Keller once wrote, The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And thus, our time together today comes to a close. Always remember that you are loved and you are capable. I'm so glad that you decided to spend this time with me today. I hope that you'll come back. But for now, we will say,